Um, so the last presentation of today before the lightning talks, uh, Yal you on uh, automatic classification through register messages. You have the floor. Thank you, Mark. Hello. Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Yaliu. Uh, I come from the Network Security Research Lab of Qihu 360. And uh, my talk is about malware classification. Uh, this is, is the outline. Uh, firstly, I will take some time on uh, polymorphic malware and uh, current classification technologies. Secondly, I will talk about uh, CNC protocol based classification. Uh, thirdly, I will show you our solution, including the definition of registered message and uh, the solution details. Next uh, is uh, uh, elements and evaluation results. Uh, then I will show you some pitfalls that exist in our solution. The final part is uh, our conclusion. Uh, as you know, a great many of new samples are captured every day. This figure is uh, borrowed from our quarter one internet security uh, report. Uh, I would like to note that uh, the unit is 10,000. Uh, our study shows that most of the new samples are just uh, polymorphic variants of no malware. They are created by the technologies of uh, packing or code obfuscation. Uh, malware classification is a technology that uh, <coughs> classify a large number of samples into a relative number of families. That simplifies the malware an analysis and uh, detection problem. A current uh, classification is main mainly based on the static sample signatures, such as the size, strength, or binary code snippets. Uh, it has false positive and false negative issues when dealing with modern polymorphic malware, because the signature database update speed may not catch up with the malware growing speed. Uh, as you know, most of modern malware are distributed to build botnets. They can be used to make money by uh, launching DDoS attacks, or spamming, or click fraud, or other bad things. Uh, it's proved that, uh, it's proved effective that uh, classi classifying botnets or malware based on their CNC protocols. Uh, such a classification is mainly based on the protocol message types formats or interactions. This means uh, you need to know, know the detailed uh, protocol specification. In most cases, uh, you have to manually reverse, ma manual reverse the samples to get uh, the detailed protocol spe uh, specification. This causes a scalability issue. Uh, before talking about our solution, I would like to show you our definition about uh, the Register message. It is the first message exchanged after a C and a C session is established, and it must be sent by the bot. Sometimes it's also called a uh, login, hello, or call home. Its main usage is to tell the controller the bot's uh, machine configuration, such as the operating system version, CPU information, memory size, or net speed. It can also be used to uh, report hard-coded inf hard information copied from sample for the bot mask to uh, track in the bot version. Many no botnets use this message in their protocol. Here are some uh, examples. The first uh, column is bot name. They are Daxia, Elkonoto, XR, DDS, Chinese, Mayday, and Doflo. Some run on Windows, some run on Linux. Uh, some a few wrong across both platforms. Uh, as you can see, all the all their registered messages include the operating system and uh, CPU information in their registered messages, except except for XLR, DDoS, and uh, Doflow. Sorry, maybe 
or include memory inf information in the register message. This is a detailed uh, register definition for Elk knot. This part is also called uh, Bill Gates. The right is a C language style structure. As you can see, this this box register message is in has a binary format and uh, have a uh, semantic strings inside. Okay, this is uh, this is a register definition for the Doppler family. Uh, this spot is also called Mist Black. In most cases, it, it has this text format, as demonstrated by the following examples. Uh, there is a term in information theory called a channel uh, entropy. The wiki says entropy is a measurement of unpredictability of information content. Its uh, value is calculated by this formula. And uh, channel entropy can be used to measure how statistically similar two messages are. When used in registered messages, a uh, small case xi stands for the unique message byte. Here are some uh, example stands information about registered messages. The first column is uh, bot name. They are Kelly House, XR, DDS, Mayday, and uh, Elk Knot, except for the last one. Uh, they have all have fixed length value. And uh, different uh, families have different entry ranges. But uh, the value is very close inside the same family. And uh, you can see there is so much information, including the register message, that we propose a new classification that is based on the similarities among registers in statistics and uh, structure. Uh, we think our solution is uh, an extended <coughs> C and C protocol based classification, but we think it's more scalable because the register message is more easy to get than the whole protocol specification. This is our objective. Our objective is to classify unlabeled samples based on the register messages. Uh, what we really do is to uh, find out uh, the number of registered families and uh, generate uh, signatures for later uh, identification. We will not uh, tell you which cluster of registers are malicious and which are not. This is left uh, for decision by, by human. And uh, our system will not uh, cl classify HTTP-based registers because they have existed good such a solution. And uh, as you know, there is so much classification classification information in HTTP that we think it's better to classify them in a separate uh, solution. This is our uh, solution architecture. Firstly, uh, the new samples are run in our sandbox. Their network, with network traces are saved. At the same time, we also download network traces from virustotal.org. Secondly, the network traces are input to the register profile. And uh, after deduplicating and uh, excluding, uh, excluding HTTP requests, the unique registers are divided into two large TCP and UDP clusters. The result cl large clusters are input to a step called uh, cost grand clustering. This step is to uh, produce statistically similar clusters. And uh, the result uh, smaller clusters are input to a step called fine grained clustering. This step uh, produce structurally similar groups. In the final step, three types of signatures are generated. And uh, <coughs> the generated signature will be used to rescan all the input uh, Regis to exclude the, those class, successful class, classified ones. And uh, the left regist will be input for the next round of clustering and signature generation. The iteration will not uh, stop until there is no new structurally similar groups are produced or there are no new signatures are generated. Uh, register profiling. Basically, it's a process of passing PCAP files and uh, creating the register structures. 
uh, at the same time, it also set up uh, uh, such uh, attributes for each uh, register. They are length, entry value, binary or text format, and semantic strings. Here are two sample register profiles. The left one has binary format. Its length is 260. Uh, it has low entropy value of 0 0.7, and it has three semantic strings. The, left, the right one is easy to understand. For consideration of time, I will not explain it in detail. Cost grand clustering. Uh, this step is, is used to group a statistical register registers. Basically, it's a step of a step of k-means clustering on vectors of length and entry. We arrange this step is just to reduce the computation cost because uh, all n squares computation cost is needed if you attempt to directly find out a structurally similar register. Currently, you use a heuristic deducting pr procedure to find out the semantic strings. Uh, the frequent encodings of common semantic strings are concluded. Every semantic string the, has the following attributes. They are semantics, offset, and size. A length, uh, it's common that a length field is used in message to indicate how many bytes the message has. Uh, we concluded the three types of semantics, the, as shown in the figure. The first is length value equals to length three. The first, second is length value equals length one plus length two. The third is uh, length value equals to length one plus length two plus length three. And uh, the length field may have different field size. Currently, we consider three cases. And uh, they, it may be uh, placed in different byte order, host uh, byte order or network uh, byte order. Structure simile. Uh, this step is also called uh, fi fine grained clustering. It is used to find the structure similar registers. Two registers are considered structurally similar if and only if they have similar entry values and uh, they share the same set of semantic strings and their, pla their placing order, and uh, they share the same format of length fields and uh, they share the same encoding format, uh, and uh, they have similar length value. Uh, before talking about signature generation, uh, I would like to show you two sample signatures that our system produced. The name is machine generated. It is based on the pattern summary and uh, creating time. Uh, the name is used for later identification. The ordinal is to tell the inspector engine which message should be inspected. Uh, for registered message, it is a value of 0 0.5 and uh, 1.0. It means uh, the registered message is the first uh, ex firstly exchanged message in the 0 0.5 round of C and C interaction. And the length value is to tell the, tell the inspecting engine uh, which length the register should have, it is matched by, by this rule. And uh, the entry value is used for ref reference for inspecting. And the pattern is easy to, is easy to understand. It's just uh, used to tell the inspector engine at which offset, how many, and what content bytes should exist. Signature generation. A set of signatures are generated for each group of structurally similar registers. The generation steps including finding out frequent items of offset and byte value, merging uh, offset continuing items of offset and uh, byte value, and uh, normalizing them into valid signatures. And we define some policy to, for batch signature generation. The actually the at least uh, occurs means how many registers are needed to generate a valid uh, signature. The least uh, signi sig signature bytes means 
uh, how many pattern bytes a valid signature should have, and uh, the at least the continuous signature bytes means how many uh, multi-byte multi -byte pattern a valid, valid signature should have. Uh, IPROI and IP close is a class, a classic uh, data mining algorithm. We use them to uh, find uh, the frequent items offset and, and uh, byte value. The week says IPROI is an algorithm for frequent item set mining and associated rural learning over transaction databases. And uh, the FP growth algorithm solves the same problem, problem but has better performance. And uh, currently we use a priori, and we will soon update our system to IP growth for better performance. Three types of signature are defined. The first is called normal. It uh, just defines uh, specific byte patterns occurring at a specified offset. The second is called PCIe. It is produced by replacing the semantic patterns with equivalent uh, PCIe expressions. The third is called uh, entropy. Uh, it is used when no valid patterns could be generated and uh, all the registers have the same length, length and very close entry values. We have implemented our idea in C++ and Python. Uh, the, our solution contains about 2,500 C lines of C++ code. Uh, our test shows that it takes more than, less than 30 minutes to classify 10,000 uh, uh, 10, registers. Uh, this test is done on a machine have this configuration, and uh, only a single thread program is used. We also we also did many tests on the to find the best choice choice of k k value for k means. Our as as shown in the figure, the the x axis stands for k value, and the y axis stand, stands for the successfully class, classified number. Our test shows that uh, twenty is the best choice for k means. Uh, positive negatives and false, false, false positives. Uh, we test our system with, with about 5,000 family known registers. The false, post, false negative is 3.91%, and the false positive is 0.3%. 0, 0, uh, 0 uh, we also do some tests to see how many rounds are needed. Our test shows that uh, when classif classifying uh, less than 10,000 registers, uh, four rounds is enough. And uh, as you can see, most, most of registers are successful classified in the first round. Uh, here are some signature that our system generated. They these signatures all have large coverages. The first is for the class, classic stun. This protocol is used for net travels. Uh, when we ran unlabeled samples in our sandbox, we collected many, many, uh, collected many registers of this kind. We have no idea wh whether it is malicious or not, and uh, our system generate a signature for them. Uh, the second is uh, for a kind of SSL client hello. Uh, in fact, uh, we collect many, many kinds of SSL requests. They have different uh, version value and uh, substitute uh, combination. The third is for a bot named Blood uh, Bindi, yes. Uh, you can see this bot uh, has a text format register, and uh, we currently we have no idea what is the uh, what is the malicious purpose this bot has. But uh, we, we are sure that uh, this bot is malicious. 
The last is for the notorious DDS spot NATO. Uh, this spot has a binary format, and uh, its latest message has has operating system, CPU information, and memory size and net, net, net speed information. Uh, of course, there is no perfect solution. Uh, here are some pitfalls we think uh, exist in our system. The first is not all botnet use ledgers in the C and C protocol. The second is for UDP based C and C protocol, it's hard to tell which message is registered and which is not because of its stateless nature. The third is the same register may be shared across different C and C protocols. Uh, further work need to for the right classification. And uh, the last is our system is not good at uh, class, uh, classifying text format registers with non-fixed uh, length. The final is conclusion. Uh, our test shows that uh, statistical and uh, structural similarities among registers can be used to classify classify registers effectively, and uh, register-based classification can complement uh, C and C-based classification. And uh, our solution performs better when dealing with binary format registers than text format. That's all. Any question? If you want to, uh, okay, thank you, thank you. Uh, if you want to further discussion, please feel free to contact me by this email or the, my Twitter account. Okay, thank you. Well, do you have questions? Over there. Thank you for the talk. Um, to execute the, the binary, you actually have to defeat all the anti forensics uh, and so on. So do you have any ad advice or any, any insights on how to do that quickly and efficiently? I'm sorry? Um, to, at to actually get the register message, you have to get the, the, the malware to run. And that is difficult to do because of all the, the countermeasure inside the malware. Yes, yes. Of course, there are many malwares that uh, uh, did not show their CNC behavior in our sandbox. Uh, this is our future work. OK. Yes. And, and uh, did you get any results uh, with just the binary? Can you extract the, the, the register message just looking at the, the code without executing the malware? No. OK. Currently not. Thanks. OK. Another question? No more. OK. Thank you. Thank you.